For improved system performance, long-term financial returns, and less risk on your PV projects, look to the proven performance of DuPont Materials and Solutions. Hello and welcome to this week's newscast coming to you from Intersolar Munich. Coming up we have exclusive interviews with SunTech CEO Dr. Shi and iSupplies Henning Wicht. The headlines today include SolarWatt filing for bankruptcy and Kanika and IMEX outing new high cell conversion efficiencies. More on these stories can be seen on our website pvtech.org. And now we go to our first interview with SunTech CEO, Dr. Xing Rongxi. Obviously, we've now had the uh, initial uh, uh, US commerce decision uh, on the anti-dumping. What's your current position on this? Yeah, unfortunately, you know, um, uh, the DOC of US uh, give very unfavorable ruling, you know, to uh, solar cell manufacturers in China. So we believe this is a, uh, you know, a bad decision for the industry. is a great setback for the industry, you know, which has worked hard uh, in the last 10 years, you know, to reduce the cost. And uh, we believe this is a lose-lose decision because it's not going to save you know, there's no industry for you know US to be saved. Secondly, there's, you know, there's no more jobs to be saved. Actually, there will be more jobs you know to be lost in US because uh, for one megawatt uh, of uh, uh, solar panel installation, you know, we are, which will create 26 jobs. You know, 60% of jobs will be created in the downstream. So only 40% is created along the supply chain. So I think it's going to also to hurt. U.S. solar industry, because you know when uh, uh, U.S. imposes on this import tariff, you know then the total cost of a solar project will be increased. So there will be you know some project which will not be able to build, you know due to increase the cost. So I think overall, you know this is a lose, lose, uh, you know uh, uh, situation. But for SunTech, we believe open and a fair trade. And uh, also for, from Suntech point of view, because we are a global company, we have global supply chain. So, you know, actually, you know, this uh, decision will not impact our business in U.S. Uh, very much. So we will continue to supply, you know, hundreds of megawatts to our U.S. company, U.S. customers, you know, uh, this year and beyond. Well, you mentioned uh, the U.S. side uh, with the module shipments, but of course, You've also got a module manufacturing plant in Arizona. Um, now that the, that decision, preliminary decision, has been made, uh, have you re-looked at whether you can uh, cost-effectively increase capacity uh, at, in in uh, in the U.S. via your, your module plant there? Is that a decision that's yet been made? Well, uh, three years ago, when we decided to go to U.S., you know, that's uh, you know our strategic uh, decision because we were. Uh, you know, move our manufacture, you know, closer to the customers, you know, when industry matures. So we are already in U.S. this moment. So, you know, we'll continue to be there. Now, obviously, um, uh, the U.S. side is taking its course uh, with this action, but there's also uh, the worrying threat that this could spread to the EU. What, what, what's your concerns there? Well, we're also hearing some rumors about uh, the possible filing of, uh, you know, anti-dumping in Europe. And uh, uh, again, if it happens, it will be very, very bad news for the whole industry. Okay, it will be a great setback, you know, for the industry. So from this point of view, we also, we don't believe it's going to be happen in Europe because like, a, you know, country like Germany, and, uh, and Italy, you know, uh, uh, France, many countries, you know, show the great leadership to, to uh, you know, uh, support the industry. So we, you know, we made a, a, you know, dramatic progress in cost reduction. And now you look at Germany, it's already 
over 20 gigawatt installation of solar. So that's why I believe the purple you know, government and the European you know, uh, Union were not supportive if it is fine. The full interview with Dr. Xi from Suntech will be available soon on our website, pvtech.org. And now we go to the interview with Dr. Henning Weck from IHS iSupply. A key issue across Europe uh, has been the uh, declining feeding tariff incentive schemes. You know, explain to me what's going on there. You know, what, what's some of the important uh, issues around these feeding tariffs? Yes. The feed-in tariff has have, have been the, the driver and the motivation during the last eight years. We are now getting into this stage where we are transitioning from the feed-in tariff driven to the free open energy market. And I think we have a very good example recently announced in Germany where Central Solar announced to install on 100 supermarket roofs 80 kilowatt on each PV power systems. These PV power systems supply about 45% of the electricity consumption of the supermarket. The supermarket itself says we don't want to spend on feed to the grid. We want to consume the power by itself because it's cheaper than we are buying from the grid. And this is happening now in 2012. So very interesting. We are at a very exciting time going to the free energy market. Um, a lot of people talk about grid parity. From what you're saying, that sounds like we're almost at that point. I know it's a complex issue, but uh, am I going down the right road in thinking certainly in certain parts of Germany, grid parity is already here? It is, it is, absolutely. And the question is then at grid parity, I mean, you don't have any advantage of buying from the grid. So we have to go below grid parity. And this again is a transition. I think the example of central solar is a good one. And I expect there will be a trigger point, and this is when we are below, say, minus 10, minus 20, and minus 30, for me, is my trigger point. By at minus 30 to grid tariffs, we'll see a massive penetration of solar applications. We'll have more exclusive interviews from InterSolar in next week's broadcast. Thanks for watching.